right, YouTube. Speak my way further. Do retro, uh, and we're going to do my full uh, Master System collection. Cheers. Right, uh, so we're going to start my full uh, Master System collection. Um, the first one is Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Uh, fantastic game. This uh, I remember this being built into the Master System Two. I remember playing it on the youth club bus. Um, basically. Uh, this is quite hard to get boxed. I think I imported this one. Um, I also bought the instructions separate. So let's get this in nice condition. And, um, you know, it's uh, quite hard to get. Because, like I say, most of them were on the uh, Master System 2. But to me, if you're going to have a Master System, uh, the iconic one for me is the Mark 1. The sort of boxy squared mark one alex kid a very cool uh cool game uh it's the only one i sort of really like this one uh, i think all the others were other get uh, other types of games made into alex kid games but this was a this was a cool game so alex kid in miracle world so that's the first one right on next is another iconic game for me for the um master system great conversion uh it's california games Spent many hours at this at Dougal McTavish's house. All my uh, memories of playing on uh, the, uh, the Master System were at Dougal McTavish's house. He had a Spectrum and he had a Master System. And then he went on to get the Mega Drive as soon as it was released. With about three or four, uh, two or three games with it at the same time. So, But this is a great conversion. Um, it's a bit of a toss up for me. Which is better, this or the... Uh, Atari Lynx. I probably have better memories with the Atari Lynx. I borrowed um, a friend Gerald, friend of the family, he used to come round um, and he'd have all sort of latest, latest systems and things or he'd borrow systems off people and he'd borrowed an Atari Lynx and uh, basically he allowed me to borrow this Atari Lynx. I played it with the uh, in the wall, uh, plugged it into the wall with the plug and played it for so long that when I looked back up my neck was uh, hurting. <laughs> so yeah so it's a great game California games fantastic on the master system right another really good conversion on the master system which is R-Type absolutely fantastic really really cool quite like that artwork as well that's pretty cool but what a great conversion this um, one of the better conversions I think the best conversion to Amiga probably then this and then uh the uh, uh, Spectrum version is good as well, to be honest. So it's good, good all round. This uh, not so good on the Amstrad, uh, but that was due to poor programming, I, I believe. They've actually got a new version released, and uh, it's supposed to be pretty cool. Never played the PC Engine version, which is also supposed to be pretty good. But uh, I, I know the the complete version or R Type Complete or some R Type uh, isn't supposed to be. It's supposed to change the music. Uh, golden rule with that is if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's our type. Absolutely fantastic game. Right, another um, great arcade conversion. You see, not the other day on my Spectrum, which is, this is Shinobi. Um, very, very good arcade game. Great arcade game. And this is a great uh, port of that arcade game. Really, really cool. Fantastic game. Uh, pretty good on the Spectrum, very good on the Amiga as well. Uh, I don't believe I've played it on other systems apart from the arcade. Um, fantastic game, really, really cool. Sega done very well um, porting these uh, their arcade systems to the Master System. Done a very good job. Another arcade game. <laughs> Bit of a theme going here, which is Double Dragon. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, very good conversion. Uh, supposedly quite hard actually so uh, I haven't gone back to it back recently but I remember it being a very good conversion uh, we were very very let down with the Spectrum version of this um, it was awful you had the knife and it looked like you're fighting people with a loaf of bread like a French stick or something you know um, but yeah the Master System was where we were getting our sort of Double Dragon fix when we weren't in the arcades um, I believe the Atari Lynx version is quite cool as well and uh, in la latter years the Game Boy Advance version, which I'm trying to pick up. I bought several times, and both times have been blooming reproductions. So, 
which is a, a one to put, um, pick up now, which is uh, Double Dragon Advance, which is a, a quite high-priced uh, Game Boy Advance game. But this is Double Dragon on the Master System. Great game. Very, very good. Uh, <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a theme here. Arcade game, which is Afterburner. Four meg cartridge. <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool conversion. Like I say, Sega are very good at putting their own work onto uh, a, a lesser system um but yeah this was pretty cool until we then got onto the mega drive and got the mega drive version so but this is this is a good version as well the amiga actually has two versions uh, i think the one we got in uk which is really poor and then i believe one that got an australian release which is really good so yeah there's two uh two versions on the amiga so but I, I think in a day somehow I managed to end up with the Australian original <laughs> somehow. Right, um, next one, another great arcade conversion, which is Space Harrier, uh, two meg cartridge. Space Harrier is a great game, very very well done on the Master System, fantastic on uh, the Mega Drive, and then on to Saturn. It's brilliant. But this uh, certainly uh, was as close as we could get back in a day. You, obviously the arcade was much better, but then this was this was a pretty damn good port, um, you know. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So Space Harrier on the Master System. Now there's a trilogy of games here. You, if you uh, know your Master System, you probably know what I'm on about now. But uh, starting with the first one, which is Wonder Boy, um, aka Adventure Island on other systems. But Wonder Boy it was a great game. Like this on the Spectrum as well, but this was this was a, a step up from the Spectrum version. Um, great game, Wonder Boy. Uh, really, really good game. Uh, but now my favourite uh, Wonder Boy, which was Wonder Boy Monsterland. Absolutely loved this. Um, fantastic game. Loved it back in the day. Um, really really cool really really cool this game i've even got this on my ps3 uh downloaded it on a ps3 because uh it was one of the old sega classics you could download so i picked this up and it's uh it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant so wonder boy monster I'm not sure if it's actually an arcade uh, in monster Island. i think it might have been but uh not your sort of average arcade sort of player is it it's sort of a bit of rpg elements in into it but uh Another one which I have on the PS4 and now I have it on the Master System is Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. And I haven't actually played this. Um, so I'd be interested to play this and to play the remake on the PS4. Um, you can also use the passwords from this version onto the PS4 version as well. And there's also a swap between the two. You can swap between the new graphics and the old graphics on the PS4. But uh, so it's supposed to be a highly rated game. Like I say, when they were using the Wonder Boy license, they were pretty, uh, they pretty much made sure most games were good, I think. So I think we're in for some good playing on that one. And another one that I hadn't really seen before, but I thought would um, interest me. So, which is Shadow Dancer. It's a very good game on a Mega Drive. It's a game in its own right. I believe that the, um, Amiga version is trying to be like uh, the arcade. And I think this is... Uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, of the arcade or of its own game. But it looks extremely, extremely good for a, a Master System game. So, you know, punching above its weight. But it looks like it carries itself very well. So, uh, it'd be interesting to look at that. I actually done a... I looked up a YouTube video before buying this off my friend. And I thought, actually, I'll... I'll give that one a go. I've got to get that. So that is Shadow Dancer. Uh, this this next one is a game I have on many systems. I've got it on Spectrum, uh, Amiga, um, Mega Drive, and now on the Master System, uh, which is New Zealand Story. I think the Bob uh, Wheatland artwork is better than this version. Uh, I don't know who done that one, but... Uh, I'm sure Bob didn't lose any sleep over the artwork on this. But this is supposed to be a very, very good conversion. So I, I picked it up and uh, I, I don't think I've, I've yet to play a bad uh, New Zealand story. So uh, hopefully this won't be the first time that I do. But it, I think it's supposed to be um, 
up there, so it's supposed to be very, very good. Um, another game which is uh, sort of Sega's answer to supposedly Castlevania, so which is Master of Darkness. Uh, I've known about this through several people's. Um, basically, if you look at it, it's a massive rip-off of Castlevania, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I've seen this on several videos of uh, YouTubers and that, and uh, it's going up in price. Um, so I picked this up uh, probably a year ago, maybe a couple of years ago, once I found out about it. And I've yet to play it, but it looks pretty cool, so we picked it up. Next one is a great game, uh, mainly for me on the Amiga, but this is also supposed to be a good version, which is Speedball 2. Got this off my friend, very, very clean. Um, it's almost like brand new, actually. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, the case is open half. Half and half. I mean, look at that. That is, as Dad's was to that has never seen a thumb. Never seen a thumb, that manual. In all the years it's been about, it's never seen a thumb. It's like brand new. So uh, I'm I when I've seen the condition, it's, I had to pick it up. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, and it actually looks pretty spot on for the graphics for the Amiga version, to be honest. Um, I've yet to play it, but Speedball 2, you can't go wrong, can you, really? So that's Speedball 2. A uh, game that I've been interested in and haven't really seen much about. So looking for the sequel on the Mega Drive, actually. Which is Fantasy Zone. Uh, I believe, or many people think that this was the first ever sort of cute em up shooter. Or, but uh, looks can be deceiving because apparently, although it looks very cute, it is extremely brutally hard. So uh, I've never played it, but it gets a lot of good um, praise. So I'm looking forward to giving Fantasy Zone a play. Next one, which was a big game for me on the Spectrum. Uh, I've got to say, I think this looks slightly better than Spectrum, actually. Which is Alien Syndrome, also a Sega arcade uh, release. Um, yeah, pretty cool, sort of top-down. Very sort of inspired by the Aliens movies, I'd imagine. Uh, top-down, well, I think it's one or two players. Is it one or two players on the thingy? I don't... It usually says how many players, doesn't it? Yeah, perhaps just a one player here. I think it's one player on the Spectrum. But I thought in the arcade it might be two player. I'm not sure. Could be wrong with that. But um, Alien Syndrome, nonetheless. It's a cool little uh, top-down shooter. Um, next up is Enduro Racer. I haven't played it. Um, I think it's different to the arcade because I've got a feel on it. Didn't you have a bike where you have to pull the handles up on this on the arcade? I'm not sure. But it looks like a sort of... Uh, isometric version on the master system looks pretty cool it was part of a bundle so i picked it up and decided to keep it right uh another game is getting a lot of praise um from a lot of uh my friends they reckon it's a very very good version and sort of said it uh smashes the spectrum hands down well we'll see about that <laughs> it is operation wolf and uh, you can use the controller or the light gun, and I do own both, so we'll be giving this a blast on the old light gun. We'll get with the old CRT. Might even do a comparison video, the Master System versus the Spectrum, maybe. Hey, we'll have a look. Uh, so, yeah, so, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look better than the Spectrum on the back of the graphics, but uh, that could be due to poor uh, photo quality. <laughs> so, but that is Operation Wolf. Fantastic. Uh, another arcade uh, hit from back in the day, which is Gauntlet. Uh, Blue Warrior needs health badly. <laughs> yeah, this is a, it's a massive in the arcades back in the day. Very, very brutal game. Uh, like a lot of people complain that your health is constantly going down. Therefore, if you're not even getting hit, you're dying. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the same on the mass system or if it's... A, if they sort it out so it's a little less brutal than the arcade. But uh, yeah, Gauntlet. And like I say, this is in really, really pristine condition. Um, yeah, not really nice inside as well. Not as nice as people too, but uh, certainly no complaints. There's many, many variants of the uh, the actual cartridges, you know. there's I've seen, I think I've seen about 10 different cartridge types, which is quite unusual. 
Um, next one, a game I've not known much about. I picked it up, which is, I think it's supposed to be good, but it's supposed to be brutally hard, which is The Ninja. Uh, looks pretty basic, but I have heard it's good somewhere. And I've got a feeling someone said in the comments it's pretty good, but it's pretty tough. So uh, we should give that a play at some point. Right, next up is the um, slot card games, which are transports. Um, these seem to be pretty hard to pick up, these card games, apparently. So I thought I'd grab them. This one's box is destroyed. Um, but I've got a feeling my friend charged me as if it wasn't boxed. So that is transport. I've yet to play it, but uh, I own it. So Right, next one, which is um, a sort of bit of a contrast to the other one, because it's pretty nice condition, this case. Which is my hero. Uh, beating up punks in sort of uh, Where's Wally sort of vest type things by the look of it. But uh, yeah, my hero. I uh, Looks like a side-scrolling sort of affair. So nevertheless, uh, we'll give it a try and uh, see what it's like. So but yeah, so I thought I'd try and pick up these uh, these card games. Because like I say, some of them are supposed to be pretty hard to get. So... You don't really see them about much, do you, really? Either. So, when I see them, I picked them up. Uh, F-16 Fighting the Falcon is the next one. Uh, I bet they're up all night uh, designing the artwork on that one. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what this one's look like. Um, I doubt it'll be any good by the look of it. Uh, but nevertheless, we own it and we have it, so... F-16 Fighting Falcon. If you want to know how not to do a, a, a box art, look at that. <laughs> right. Uh, right, we're back on to the uh, other ones now, the standard sort of cases. Uh, it's the f final uh, box ones we have. Right, which is, the first one is Teddy Boy. Uh, it's quite nice condition. Don't know much about this game. Almost looks... Uh, Probably out before James Pond, but sort of looks like a sort of maybe a style like a bit like James Pond sort of style platformer maybe. So this is probably perhaps James Pond uh, Robocop on right. So perhaps Robocop took a bit of inspiration from this maybe. So uh, yeah, that's Teddy Boy uh, on the old Master System. Uh, Next up, which is a game in its own right, and it's supposed to be very, very good. I am after the sequel to this one at some point. Uh, I'm not really into these games, but they are supposedly very good on the Master System, which is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, this is a little bit dirty, this version. This, it's, um, it's not the best version, but it was in a part of a job lot that I had. So I just kept it until I can get an upgrade. Sonic and Sonic 2, I believe, are their own games. They're not attached to the Mega Drive games. They're not the same levels. They have their own unique levels. Obviously, it still has the character Sonic in. But apparently, these are very good standalone games. So I've picked it up. I'm not a Sonic person at all. Um, but, you know, if a game's uh, renowned for being good in the system, then if you've got a collection, it should be part of that collection, should it not? Right, another game that I picked up through the love of my uh, the love of the series, but apparently it is the worst of the series, which is Cyber Sh the Cyber Shinobi. Um, this is apparently the worst Shinobi that there is um, to date, apart from they done another Shinobi, didn't they, on the on the DS or 3DS maybe, uh, which is not by Sega. They licensed it out. I think it might be called Revenge of Shinobi, but it's not actually the Revenge of Shinobi that I know and love. It's a different one. But uh, I haven't played this one. I'd like to get all the games in the Shinobi franchise, so hence why I own it. So, yeah, so it's supposed to be pretty poor, but we'll give it a go, eh? It's a, it's a Shinobi game that I haven't completed yet, so... Mind you, I haven't even completed the original one. But I am a bit of a dab and a uh, Revenge Shinobi. Not too bad in Shadow Dancer either. Right, uh, next one. Another arcade hit by Sega. Uh, I more remember this on the uh, on the Mega Drive, really. But I actually have this built into my Master System that I have. My uh, big unit, so my uh, Mark 1. Which is Hang On. So... I remember Super Hang On. Very, very good on the Amiga, actually. I've got on the Amiga, actually. But uh, great music. Um, great game. 
Um, I've, I, I actually it's one of the ones I'm missing on data discs uh, on the on the record. So I'm gutted that I don't have that because it is very very uh, memorable to me. My actually, my dad actually really liked uh, Super Hang On on the Amiga. So the music on uh, Super Hang On is very very uh, nostalgic for me. So one I definitely have to get and probably will have to pay scalpers prices. So that is Super Hang On. Right, and the last one. Uh, this actually came with my master system when I bought it uh, out of the paper. Um, it's very, very bad condition. It's not great. It's not a great game either. So remember this game on the the Mega Drive. This version looks awful, but uh, it came with a system. It's in poor condition, so it'll probably stay with me because <laughs> I can't imagine anyone wanted to buy it in this state, which is altered beast. The case is falling apart there. Um, it's cracked and uh, it, you know it's not very good condition at all but uh yeah the master system is where it's at when it comes to old to beast this looks pretty uh pretty cut down and poor version it doesn't look too bad still but when it's moving i think it flickers and does all sorts so yeah uh old to beast so we're ending on a low <laughs> but we certainly had some highs in that bundle right youtube like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one cheers Right, it's just going to do this one on the fly with shaky hand cam. Um, we have Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. It's cart only. It's pretty bad condition. Um, next one, which is a good version on the um, Master System, actually. Which is Ghouls and Ghosts, also cart only. Um, and another game which is supposed to be good. Which is Psycho Fox, also cart only.